Absolutely. I mean, with with the wave generation idea, with the buoys, imagine the coast of California. It's huge. You have these generators going day and night. That could power a massive amount of California. You know, we don't really need to frack. We don't we can't we shouldn't frack the water. I think that's or the ground water table because I think that's a way to actually privatize water. Once you destroy the groundwater, make it poisonous, the only way you can get it is if a if a it's industry Nestle. Is here clean it, right? Nestle, which is which is being allowed to suck yeah. your California dry already. I mean, you've got a slide yeah. which shows there uh, five, you know, what five thousand plus California uh, homes with wells have that shut down because of Nestle. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I mean, this is this stuff is outrageous, and and they I know that they want to privatize because as we travel around California, we're actually hearing. I thought that it was in the future. I thought that it was stuff that was happening down in South America here and there. It's happening right here yeah. in California already. So we need to get a handle on this because. You know, uh, the commons are very important. And I think that, and I'm, I've been writing a book on this actually, but, um, you know, let's see, how can I say this quickly? Force is required to create markets. If you, by force, don't let people go in the Kingswood and get, you know, for example, to use an old example when there was a commons, go in the Kingswood just shortly after the commons, and, and you can't take out lumber. Well, then that means that you've now, the, the king has created a market for lumber, right? So right. force creates markets. And if that happens, then the people, I think that's where rights actually derive from, because once they've taken away, then you have to get some sort of ersatz material or have the right to, let's say, get food if you can't collect it in the forest. So these the rights actually evolve out of the restriction of the commons. Well, what happens if if there is no more common water? What happens if there's no more common air? That's kind of a horrible scenario, but would we have the right to air? Of course we would. Right, um, but would it be right to clean air. air? Yeah, it would be exactly. Yeah. Would it be substandard air? Probably. So that we need to make sure that uh, we are not having more and more things privatized, and we need to absolutely get off of fossil fuels. The fact is that solar is cheaper than gas turbines now.